Hey guys, it's Janie. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. Today I just wanted to show you another little tutorial. So this little pocket, this, it's double pocket here and a pocket right here as well. And it also opens with Velcro. And so on the inside, you can put like a little journal spot. I just put some papers in there. This was inspired by Angela Kerr Designs. This is actually hers. It's so, so cute. I've made so many of them and they're just so easy to make. And also when you put this on your paper, in your journal, you're gonna have a third pocket back here behind it as well. So let's just get started on this and make us another pocket. So what you're gonna need of course is glue. I like art glitter glue. I think it's one of my favorite. It's my favorite actually. You can use whatever glue you want. A pair of scissors, paper, some Velcro. Now the dots, Angela used the dots and those would definitely work better. I just have to cut these in quarters to make it work. And then some ribbon or some lace. Now for your paper, Angela Angela used a magazine paper. You can use whatever you want. Um, I had a 12 by 12. I just cut it down to an eight and a half by 11 because I really like the size that my pocket comes out to. And also depending on how you fold this, you can give it a little bit more width too. Um, your main concern is gonna be so your two edges can be glued together. So we've got our paper here. Um, you can just eyeball this or you can measure it out. Um, but this is about two inches right here and I'm just going to try to make this a little wider than this one. All of mine I've made the same size. So we're going to fold this over. Now you can use a bone folder. I don't have one so I just use my scissors and it works just as good um, folding those edges. And then the other one is going to fold over. Now this is where you can determine how wide you want it. You can have it barely touching it, so long as there's enough space for the glue, or you can make it more narrow by folding it in a little bit more than that. So however you want to do it. But I'm gonna to try to make this one a little bit wider than my other ones. So we're just gonna go a little bit of width there and I still have enough there to glue let's fold that down okay so now we're going to get our glue and we are going to glue this edge just a nice little line across there and you're only going to glue this part. And then we're going to glue that down. And art glitter glue dries really, really fast. So, okay. And now you have something that looks like this. So, and, and when you're doing, you're going to leave the jointed part up when we fold up our next one. Now this one, when I fold this up, I usually bought two inches of space here. But again, I'm just gonna eyeball it to where I think it looks good. And we're gonna fold that down, just like that. Okay, and now you have this and you have your two pockets made. Let's see how much wider that is. It's about a half an inch wider than this one. Can't go much more than that. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that done, we are going to um, put our ribbon on. I think it goes that way. 
And this is really pretty. It's got a cute, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got um, gold threading through it. Okay, so we're going to put this on the top of this one and the top of this one, just like this one. I used this really cute, um, it's, a, it's a ribbon, but it's like crocheted kind of almost. So let's measure this out. And give that a snip right there. And we're going to put this glue up here. That, yeah, that's the right way. And art glitter glue can work good on this, but you can use Fabri-Tac or, you know, whatever kind of glue you, you want. Fabri-Tac usually works pretty good on, like, the ribbon and stuff. That went up a little high. Luckily, I had a little bit of time to move that down. Okay. And I have a little bit of overhang, so... I'm going to try and snip that off right there. There you go. It doesn't like to snip. Okay. All right. So there's the ribbon on the top. And now we're going to do the same thing. Oh, let's get this measured out first. Let's measure it right there. This stuff is apparently not good for uh, cutting. It wants to shred. So we're going to put our glue on. Does that look straight? I think it's straight. So now we've got this going on. I like that color pink. I'm not huge on pink, but this one's kind of pretty. And that's still like bugging out right there. I can't quite get it all off. Hopefully this glue on here will help stop that. Okay, so now and this part, you guys can glue up the sides if you want to and just make it pockets. So you glue it so this does not come down. Or you can um, put a little tablet there if you'd rather, if you want to do that. Or any kind of journaling paper, whatever you have to put in there. Okay, so I've got some... Some composition paper here, some scraps here. I think there's two here. Okay. There's two here. I'm just going to use this, I think. And just maybe put some washi tape on the top of it, and that will be what I slide in there. But first, we're going to do our, our Velcro if you choose to do that. So I'm going to take, I'm going to cut a whole square off so that I'm not dealing with it being sticky. And then I'm going to cut this into fourths oops get that I don't need this one and then we're gonna cut it again okay like that and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side of it Okay, and we're going to cut this in fourths as well. And again, and there we go. Oh, my little one over there. Okay, boy, that's not easy to work with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, right here at this point 
at this part with the flat ones. Let's see if I can get it off the plastic. And then we're gonna keep it away from the edges. You don't want it clear over to the edges. And I'm just, again, I'm just eyeballing where I'm putting these. Keeping them away from the edges, okay? And then your fluffy side, I don't even know if, what, if these have names, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just calling what I want. So you take the fluffy side down. This is the best way to make sure it's even on your thing and just attach one to each so that when you put it down, they'll go where they're supposed to and they'll be lined up. As long as I can get this one off of the plastic. Come on, there you go. Fluffy side down. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to flop it back over and push it down. Now be careful when you first um, pull this Velcro apart. Make sure that it has time to adhere. Okay. So there's that one and that one and there you go they are in the places they're supposed to be they're in here it's not too bad for eyeballing it okay so now the next thing we're going to do let me grab this coffee dyed paper and you're going to put it just below it if it's going to be hidden you want just below your velcro and we're going to have to cut that off to there so that it can actually close. So we're just gonna trim along the, the line. Perfect. And now what I'm gonna do, is, since I don't have a stapler, I'm just going to pull out this, this middle one, the second sheet, and we're just gonna put a strip of glue right at the fold, just like that. And then we're gonna put the middle piece back in Otherwise, you guys can staple. Staple those two together if you want to. There you go. And I have some washi tape here that we are going to put just as a decorative element. And we're just going to put that right there. And we're going to cut this off. Or you can actually even wrap it the whole way around if you want to wrap it around. But I'm just going to cut mine off. And then we're going to fold this over the paper. So it looks like that. And then we're going to cut these ends off. And this one. Like so. And then we can glue it on, or you can use double sided tape. I didn't bring my double sided tape back there. This is, this is my library, guys. This is not where my craft room is going to be. My craft room is going to be a hub, no, another room, different room. But my son had to come back and stay with us for a while, but he's going to be moving to Florida. And when that happens, then I'll, that'll be my craft room. This is just my library. I'm not set up in here for doing crafts and stuff. So we're just going to put a line of glue back here on this. Oh, I just put that on the wrong side. No, I didn't. I folded it over. That's fine. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. And then that's going to go right under the Velcro and try and get it as even as you can. Like so. So now this little pad is going to be hidden and you can just write whatever you want in there. Or, you know, you don't even have to do that. You can put a pocket there if you want a pocket there instead. Pocket can go here if you want to put a pocket there. Um, or you can just leave it like this. You close it up and no one would ever know that you've got a journaling spot in there. And now you can just decorate the front, but I will do that um, when I decide where it's going to go, what journal it's going to go into. Um, but yeah, you guys, that is uh, inspired by Angela Kerr. It's her design and I will link to her YouTube down below so you guys can go visit her channel. She's got a lot of great ideas and she inspires me every day when I go and watch a video of hers. But yeah, that is our double pocket. And then when you put it on your page, 
This can be your choice too. You can leave a pocket here. You can scoot it over and have it be a side tuck here if you'd rather do that or here depending on where you put it in your journal. Um, but yeah, such an in inventive idea and a great place for journaling and a, a great place to put journal cards and and just, you know, significant memories and things that you want to put in your journal. So, yeah, make sure you guys go and visit Angela. Um, she has some great stuff going on. Um, thanks, guys, though, for staying tuned. That's it for me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.